what, what, what Lady them are doing in LA with the brown bag. Brown, 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 brown bag is the best in here, brown podcast. bag pie. Episode 104, Brown Bag Pod, powered Woo! by the watch. Yeah. 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 You got to hear the cut. Welcome to episode Welcome. 104. We are back. 104. Can't wait till we get to 145. Why? Because that's the building I grew up on. Uh, 145, 145 North yeah. Street. I do have a title on me. 145 with a heart. Uh. I might get a bigger one on my back. A one forty five. One forty five. Douglas boys. Is that your favorite time of the day? One forty five. Like nah. you check the time, you see one forty five, and you're like, yeah. Oh, like his like, angel yeah. number. Yeah, yeah. I just start okay. f- reminiscing about the days to your forties. No, no. <laughs> what, what, what about one forty five a.m.? Usually, I have by that time. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Depends. I'm, I'm not at the club. Like if I'm, it's one forty five at the club. It's not in my hand. <laughs> Who, who's di- I came here with my. D- my head. <laughs> that's crazy. I never understood no wild sh- like that. I would just be doing some nasty. I'd be like, whoa. The other day, yesterday, the homie was. T- so the homie recently got cracked by his homie. Wait, like what? his homie Key. His homie cracked him with a bottle at the oh, club. Okay, oh, because okay. you just okay. you yeah, cracked, cracked in different ways. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like yeah. the homie got cracked. I don't yeah. know if he goes that way, but if he does, I like, support him. Yeah. But he got cracked by a bottle this, like, past weekend. Oh, by your friend. By so you can't even fight like that. No, 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 no. Not by my friend. No, I know. You said by his homie. Yeah, by his homie. No, no. Mm-hmm. But if Maximo cracks me, I'm taking off on Maximo. But he mm-hmm. said that he was at the club. <laughs> he was, there, was, there was, like, a gang of biddies. One of the biddies happened to be his ex. He came, but the homie's like, oh, that's the homie. Like, he's going to come. But then dude got aggressive with, like, his like his ex-biddy. And then uh, they tried to stop him, tell him to chill. And then when he turned around, he got cracked by a Modelo. Oh. Wasn't the Tootsie Steel was a Modelo. But it didn't yes. crack. It, like, that's worse. I know what I'm saying. Cause, no, well, he was holding it like this. But I'm, like, scared. Like, if you hold the bottle like this and it cracks, you're cutting your hand pretty bad. Yeah. Everything pretty bad. cut. And, yeah, that fool got cracked. So it was all bad. Ouch. Poor guy, though. But, yeah, shout out to homie. Yeah, shout out to him. But he was, but then okay. the reason I thought about that is because he was sending me that one time that would just popped out his everywhere. Oh. And everybody was like, whoa. Whoa. And I was like, that Why right are there. Why we talking about that to start the like, podcast? <laughs> that right there, ladies and gentlemen, it's a case. <laughs> Fellas, yes, don't absolutely. do that. Don't just pop out your wiener anywhere. Anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Only in the pisser and with consent. Exactly. Mm. Another Life preach. lessons. Life lessons, lessons to brothers. live by. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Happy Kobe Day, you guys. Yeah. I like that it's 823, which is his birthday, and then yep. 824. So it's like a double day of like memorial lights and Kobe. Yep. Yeah. And you know you have to wear like your fits. You have to figure out like what Laker gear am I gonna wear? What Kobe gear am I gonna wear? Did you guys see the the gear that Vanessa dropped? No. Nah, the I Mamba? Didn't see it. Oh, it's white on white. It's oh. like white, white sweaters with like the white logo, but kind of like puffed up. And you saw it, it's right? It's like triple white. It's like super nice. And it sold out. Like, oh, I saw man. it. And I have, I'm following her on Instagram. And an hour before, uh, hour after it dropped, it was sold out. But what I like is she did it a week before. So, like, you could have the closing time to it. celebrate Kobe Day. That's dope. Yeah. She did it with Nike or it was like a separate white. thing? Um, it's, I don't know, because you go to the Mamba mentality, uh, Mamba Mamba Sita mentality. Oh, like, oh it's probably like, their own thing. It's probably like a like, power thing, though, too, huh? Like, Nike for sure probably gave him like the plug because that's that's a lot of shit being for a next yeah. day drop. Like it's crazy well, it was that last it sold week. out because oh they, yeah. it dropped last week. It dropped last. She did it last week so that you could pull it up so that um, you can have it in time for this week. So oh. it's super nice. Mamba day. Oh, it's like, like stitching. Mm-hmm. It's oh, crazy that it sold dope. out because th- wasn't she the one saying that she didn't want to make things limited. So I don't know that they're it? limited, yeah, though, but, but like, it's a lot. Is, Everyone yeah, just bought you it. Can this, make a million this, is like every a, yeah. this is like a Shopify that she made. Yeah. You know? And all of those proceeds go towards the the Academy. The Academy. Fire. Which is, that's fire. Yeah. And I think they're meant to match the shoes. I think what's dropping is the shoes. Yeah, the white and white shoes. shoes. Yep. Because those are also triple white. Yeah. That's Damn. Fire. That's hard. That's hard. Mm-hmm. And, and it's your daughter, Mos- yeah. what's it called, Natalia. modeling for it. Yeah. That's fire, movie. Yeah. Shout out to Vanessa for that. Damn, movie, 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 Kobe. Have you did. ever met Kobe or, like, had a Kobe moment, like, where you actually saw him? Uh, in real life or any of your homies? I never saw Kobe in real life. My my oh. my homegirl, well, my girl's cousin, my cousin's girl whoa, whoa. said that she whoa. cut off a car. Shut up. And, and it was Kobe? the car cut her back off, so she went back to cut her, cut him back off, and it was Kobe. <gasps> what? So they had, like, a cut-off moment. She had road rage with Kobe. It's wow. Crazy. And then when, when she looked, she's like, oh, my God, it's Kobe. 
That was probably like. Sorry at that point. No. You lose Smile. your road rage. <laughs> nah, of course. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kobe. Your... Yeah. Yeah. Go you, ahead. You, you go ahead. Yes. You want to crash myself? <laughs> you can hit me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, are you hitting yeah. and running Kobe? If I were to hit Kobe and I seen that it was that far, I'm like, his insurance is I'm out of here. Super insurance. Shout out Kobe. He probably had, like, clearly he's Kobe, so he probably had, like, a really expensive car. So she was probably like, Ferrari. this. Like, she, even worse, that it's a rich fool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they do whatever they want. Yeah. I think just because they got a Ferrari, they can cut off anybody. Yeah, I'll show them. I do that. I do that when I'm driving, like, at certain places. Like, I'll just be like, F car. And if we do crash, I'm leaving. Because, dude, I'm not. <laughs> do you imagine dealing with a Ferrari insurance? No. See, but Kobe, like, most of the time, he wasn't like, to see Kobe, where was she at? In the valley. In the freeway. Freeway. Oh, so like on the 405, maybe? Yeah. I never got to meet Kobe, but um, I did go to a game one time, mm -hmm. like the season where they had what's his what's their names, uh, Karl Malone and Gary Payton. Gary Payton. Yeah. I went to one game and I was like super hype, but like I didn't like I was like in the three hundred section. Yeah, it's that's, cool. He he far, did it for you. That's as far as I got. That's like, what he said. He would always stay. He would play no matter what because he knew there was a kid in the three hundred yes, section exactly. that went to Rose just big all the way up there. Yeah. Yeah. You still didn't become an NBA player. I didn't. Were, yeah. were you like motivated after the game? No, you I was like, just like you had dreams. No, I was always a huge Laker fan, and and it, it's weird. That's probably well. Now I've gotten a couple more yeah. Laker games, but that was the only time I went to a Laker game as a kid. I should have interviewed him really quickly. Oh. I think I've talked to you guys. Complex about this. Con, right? No, um, to the he called into the radio station, oh. and then I talked to. It was when Control dropped because oh. uh, Kendrick had mentioned a uh, Phil Jackson. He's like. Like Kobe or like, there's no coaching me or like, like Phil, even, even Jack, Phil oh, Jackson couldn't coach this, yeah. me. And then I asked him what he thought. And then Phil Jackson was like, you need to be a better team player or whatever. He responded. So I asked Kobe what he thought of the line. I talked what? hip hop with Kobe, which That's is really so cool. Fire. And he was like, no, nah, I love that aggressive. He's like, of course. He's like, you know how many times Phil Jackson told me I got to be a team player? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's just but tight. also like Phil Jackson, I feel like when you go from like the Jordans to the Kobe's, it's like. Kind of got to listen to this film. You like, definitely got to listen like to this But Kobe was a beast on his own. But imagine, like, mm. the the person mm. Kobe looked up to yeah. was Jordan. And if Jordan was able to be coached, which I probably was, like, a wobbler, too. For sure. Like, it's like, ah, all right. But he's still a fucking, you know? Like, yep. fuck you, I'm a beast. If I'm going to get this ball, score 50 and go home yeah, to absolutely. my kids and write books. There's talented people that don't let you tell them anything. So Facts. I can see that. Shout out Kobe. Did you guys see Drake's cover art? Yeah, yeah. Sunday. Who hasn't it. by this time Thursday <laughs> when this drops? <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Dragon. But for you think he's paying his son? Yeah. He better. Like a trust fund? Not like a trust fund, but like, you know, like It'll when he turns 18. It'll help out his bars. Like, it's, mm. I already see the flex bars later I pay about my his son. son. Yeah, about son his son. I paid more than you for my album. What kind, of, what kind of dog is this? He had a, hold on, he had, he had a, he had a bar in one of the other songs about how Adonis, like during recess, is getting more money than any other kids in his in his school or whatever. Yeah. But it's like he's mentioning it like, yeah, y'all are playing recess. I'm making money. I'm Adonis. I'm Drake. He, he said something about like yeah. parent teacher conference, too. Right. Yeah. Or like when I pick so up. So this my, is just going to be another flex bar. Parent teacher conference. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That feels wild. Damn. If you imagine you like for the teacher to have a conversation. And everybody's like a million people are trying to take a picture with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, shout out Drake. But Ask what kind of dog is this? That's it's a dog that um, parents didn't love it because it has no <laughs> tail or it has three legs. <laughs> it looks too demonized. If that, if that, that thing is a tail, then it only has three legs. If it's not a tail, then it's a dog that doesn't have a tail. So that oh. means someone cut it off. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. And yeah. Dude, knowing like the people that are super religion, they're gonna go like, "Oh my God, he sold his son to the devil." <laughs> like, <laughs> his red you, eyes, you, and you yeah. have conspiracy theory, homies. It's the white devil, Josh. Yeah, the homie we Josh. But him. I, but the my other homie, homie feels Josh. like he he watches one video of YouTube and thinks he knows the yes. world. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> up. I don't Ooh. even know, but I, there's just oh. people like that. My I, mom will for sure pray for Adonis. No, for Adonis? <laughs> yeah, Adonis. Yeah. Nice. Adonis, por favor. Yeah, fool, like, I hate, like, bro, it's just his son probably thought, he probably had, like, you know, they gave him, like, a black sheet of paper, the one where you have to use other colors other than black. Yeah. And he's like, let me paint it white and red. It is, it's well matched. It's a French dog because he knows French. Because his oh. mom is French. He, oh, he does know French, yeah. huh? Wow. It's French that one white dog that's in every Mexican house. It's French oh. and Canadian. Yeah. It's French yeah. and Canadian. Mm -hmm. ah. Wow. Hey, does Adonis have papers? <laughs> Is he probably. like dual citizen? Yeah, like can he come so. to America? He probably has three papers. 
CYS, France, Canada, France? America. It, damn. Maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot paper before my mom, way. It's white privilege right there, brother. Half white privilege. <laughs> Actually, like 75%. He's like 75%. Vic, you know, Vic has papers. Anyway, the hurricane, <laughs> we almost died this week. Yeah. Oh, my God. How, was, how, did you, how did you spend you, We were kicking it, like, the night before. Yeah, we kicked it the night before. I, 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 I confirmed to let you know that if we die, you know, we had a good time before. Yeah. But I was just, I literally was at home just eating pizza. I just kicked it and watched Suits all day. It's my new show right there on Netflix. Suits? Suits. Suits. You guys got to watch that shit. It's mm-hmm. booming, Pops. Megan Markle's in it. Oh, who's that? That's the one. <laughs> She's the... <laughs> The, what, oh, it's not what's that. Her name? <laughs> you know what it. What's the the <laughs> Prince Harry? Prince Harry's wife? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. The I just know the actor. I don't, I'm not. The royal. Co- All I know she's from Conoco Park. She is from Conoco Park. <laughs> she's a redhead. Wait, is it the same person? Yeah, oh, right. I know exactly what you're talking about. Rachel the Morenita. Mhm. Yeah. yeah. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. All I, haven't, five. I haven't watched the show, but yeah, she was in. That. Yeah, she's one she of the main watching. characters. She's dating mm-hmm. the main fool. Yeah. Or they ended up. She went on to like, the whole royal family hates her and stuff. Oh, that's her. Yeah. So she's still go- going at white boys. She's going at a white boy right there oh, too. Oh yeah, yeah. That married. that show is so old. I didn't, I, yeah. didn't, I never. I, no, no, no. But it's, it's like good? an older show. People think or people can think that it's like starting now. It's not. It's yeah. Been, like Office era. It, is it good? It's, it's good. It's good as fuck. It has eight seasons. So when I when I mm-hmm. well, cause I saw it on TikTok. You know, TikTok be posting like little clips of like entertaining ass parts. And that's how I saw it. And then I went to on Netflix and I was like, oh, it's on Netflix. Yeah. You know when you when you go look for a show and it's like on like some weird app that you don't feel like downloading and getting yeah. a new subscription. Like you just wait. Or something. And yeah. So yeah. you just wait. So then I moved it to motherfucking. So then it, when, it, when it got on Netflix, I hopped on it and I've been stuck. But it's like weird because everybody else is now stuck on it. Because mm-hmm. it finally went on a mainstream platform because they seen how good it did. Uh, Netflix bought it. And me and the homies are like, bro, could I be fucking up and posting shit on my story? And my homies are like, bro, delete this shit. What the fuck? You fucked up my whole thing. Like, I didn't know that was happening. Oh, but there's like eight seasons. So it's cool when you go into a new show that you didn't know about. It's like yeah. office. It, like, it's like executives, huh? That's what's called suits. Right? Yeah, it, it's definitely like, it's like, it's like, like what type of company? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like corporate law and it gets yeah. like super personal. Yep. And shit like that. But the good thing about it is like, there's like a plot twist to like the whole fucking thing. It's fire though. I fuck with it. I like the vibes just because it's not like, you know how you said office, like yeah. like the office. Mm-hmm. The office is more like super comedy. Like yep. it's it's meant for us not I to meant take like serious. The office era, like yeah. that time. Oh, the, when, when the the every time, show yeah. had to do with no, like, no, no, more like the time that the office was out. This stuff was out. Like that's like the, oh, okay, when okay. it when it existed, right? When it was new. Yeah, because that time. I thought what you meant was not like, like the the type of thing, but I get what you're saying. Because um, I feel like for a moment there was like just shows about like people in offices and like working in corporate business and shit like that. Yeah, my uh, my my sister's man. So they lived in Queens, and he is like a banker fool. Like he li- works in finance, and he's like suits was his shit. That's how I knew about mm. it. So that's like 2017, um, and he was like super on button. I was like, I don't know, fucking suits. Yeah, bro, that shit made me, like... To me, it looked fucking square. Like, I don't know if I would like it. But I'm seeing a lot of people love it. Bro, and that shit is good. But it also shows you, like... Because when you read, like, the things about it, it's like... Bro, it's like... like There's, like, a lot of bankers that reply be like, bro, it's a, like a fucking like doggy really dog like world this, in, yeah. what's in the one, corporate world. What's that one show that's, like, old school, but it was about marketing? Uh, uh, like, a PR, like... Ah, oh, but it's old school. Did that mean, like, deal? labels? No, 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 no. It was really, like... Popping man. Arrested Development. No. no, what you guys go ahead. I'll find Ali it. In McBeal? It. No, 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 no. You said that I'm already. I'm just saying that. You just saying that. But it's one of those shows. It's really good. I fuck. I like it because I like the drama shit. You know. Yeah. It's nice. Love is in there. But I just realized when they said that girl, <laughs> yeah. that girl is Prince Harry's bitch or yeah. ex bitch. The apprentice. Yeah. Wife. Oh, she's, she's still the prince. Wife. She's no. still the queen. No, they left the royal family. They said peace out. But he, she's still Prince Harry's wife. Yeah, that's still his but bitch. She's not a princess. She's not a princess. No. She was never a princess. Yeah, oh, oh she's just a saying. bitch. <laughs> well, that's his bitch, but like, <laughs> that's his wife. We get assassinated by the queen. <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't like her either. Still, all they like, yeah, yeah. more, more, do no more, more, do no, <laughs> <laughs> do no. You, Damn, you I, please the queen. <laughs> I do remember them shitting on her, huh? What is she eat that way? Yeah, they hate it. That's what you call racism, right there, brothers. Yeah, and she is from the valley. I remember that. Yeah, Canoga Park. Martel, Maximo, Chell. God, Maximo, he just food. You don't what? even know Canoga Park like I that. I do. Food. What's the best food spot in Canoga Park? Shaggy, shut the Is fuck it? up. Isn't Canoga Glass. Park just like super Mad industrial? Mad Men. Mad Men, I love that show. Bro, bro, bro. Bro. I didn't even know what I was 
I, I don't know because I didn't know like all I could think of was Alex Hill. It was about marketing on Madison Avenue. Old school marketing. Marketing on Madison Avenue. Yeah, but it was supposed to be really good, right? It was so good. I never saw it. I was hooked every single season. It was so good. Yeah. Nah, it's fire, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro, because it was like, oh, this is how we're gonna uh, market Coca Cola. Yeah. It was like that like, era, okay. like when things but then are just coming out. Or something. Yeah, and then mean. he was just fucking all his secretaries, every yeah. single one. I get what you're saying. Oh, that's one, crazy. That was just boning them. Yeah. That's what the fool. No, but you know what? He was he was sick. Be cracking too. the bitches. He wasn't just cracking them. He would start like whole damn near like re, like year long relationships with them. Aww. Like Love. just moving on to, from Love. one to another, like endlessly, like just he didn't stop. You know. You ever wish you got into the corporate world, like where you were like worked at a nice ass bank and well, you worked at a bank before, but like I always wanted like cubicle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had a cubicle. You had one? Yeah. It's, it, and I feel like people with cubicles are like, what the fuck do you want this once, for? Once you have but, a cubicle, you just realize that you want a corner office. Yeah. Because the corner Ooh, office, you could close the door yeah. and tell everybody to fuck off. Say, I'm taking a meeting and then you just sleep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I've always wanted an office with a nice view. Same. I don't understand some of the words they be saying in the show. So I just got to look them shits up. What they be saying some big ass up? words. I don't know. They be talking about some like the way to sue a fucking person. And I was like, whoa. Reading Did you shit. look up objection or what? No, I knew what objection was. Okay. But like. What does it mean? Objection, your honor. <laughs> my, my client did not do it. <laughs> <laughs> he is lying. He's interfering. 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 What does sustain mean? Sustain means like, I'm going to sustain this offer. We're going to think about it. Is that <laughs> no, what does sustain mean? What does overruled mean? Overruled was like, call you and Vic and Maximo do. Get overruled me <laughs> on some so topics. What does sustain mean? <laughs> That we're gonna keep the not over. Keep it here, yeah. Yes, we're gonna keep it here. They pay attention to our suits. I'd be like, "Does this anything that overruled?" I'm like, like, but I but 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 I get what you're saying now because I remember like somebody was pitching something to the judge and then sustain your honor. We can't we can't move forward with the no, overruling. No, they don't say sustain. The honor says sustain. The honor. The like the judge. The judge. The judge. Yeah. Oh yeah. When they the try judge to go says through. either overruled, like, I'm not going to go with what you're saying, or, like, or sustained, yes, I agree with ah, you. Ah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. That should make me want to be a lawyer, but I feel like I don't take shit too serious. Mm-hmm. And it gets too personal, and I feel like, <laughs> damn, it's so fucked up. Like, it's kind of sad people for fucking up people's, like, lives and shit. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be ruthless in the Yeah, court. like, I don't think I would want to, like, let's say me and you are yeah, going on. Yeah, 50, like, 50 Cent said that uh, the, the most... Like, the worst pain he's ever seen a man cause another man isn't on the streets, isn't with guns, it's with paperwork. Damn. Yeah. Damn. And to that's some day, real shit. To this day, that haunts motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, shit. holy shit. Well, not like paperwork, not like... Not like, not like, like snitching, but, but I get what you're saying. Like, like in the court and yeah. shit like that. Bro, but yeah, but that shit, I, I be, that should be making me a look. And my mom's on it. When you're watching in Spanish, y'all have the same voice, really. But in English, so one, one voice actor. <laughs> yeah. That's they only hired one. <laughs> he does the male FBI yes. voices. <laughs> dude, they all sound the same. Hold on, Luis. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? That's shout cool. out, shout cool. out to But we almost died this weekend. This past uh, weekend, yes. The hurricane, the hurricane. Quake. Quake. Yeah, it was scary. I was at my dad's house. I was super hungover. And then all of a sudden, the, the um, couch just starts to shake. I was like, oh, shit. I didn't really oh, feel the, the, yeah. the earthquake That's shit. That's not around me. No. Yeah, and was, oh, you're too far. Let the YouTube far for sure. Because it's oh, in the yeah, entire yeah. county. But we got the alert. That's why. Yeah. I think they just sent it to all LA County. Yeah, because I feel like he's not by Ventura County. No. I was in Bellflower. But is he closer to the beach? I think he was just drunk. I no, I felt it. I felt it. Oh, gosh. Nah, he was probably trembling from the night. I seen him the night before. <laughs> that fool was on fucking demon mode, brothers. Sometimes I wish that it's an earthquake. But it's really a spirit that wakes me up. Oh, uh, yeah. So to me, I don't mind earthquakes. I would Usually they happen at night, right? I what know. would you rather? An earthquake wake you up or a spirit wake you up? Depends what type of spirit. Just a spirit. You don't know what type. Uh, see, I don't, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've never gotten the... I don't want to jinx it. I've never gotten the sleep paralysis shit where I feel yeah. like... You never, yeah. you never got that? I call sleep paralysis on you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna get Olympia to the anyways. <laughs> for my mom. I was just going to go to get one anyway. I was on my yeah. way. <laughs> After every weekend, I just get Olympia. You should, because you're exposed to a lot of people. Did you guys see that video someone tagged us in of an alien or whatever? It looked like something in the sky no. this weekend, too. So it was the hurricane, an earthquake, and I think they tagged us in it like early this morning of like something weird in the sky. And then Vic being freaky. So it's just all happening. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't being the, freaky. The only thing that I, besides that, that happened during Hurricane that I saw is you fantasizing about energy, so. 
I wasn't fantasizing about Angie. She's not even my type. I don't know, man. You said what? this looks You're like Angie. You're not her type. I don't want to be her type. this looks like Angie, yeah. and then the, the girl. It's fucking boring. It didn't, it didn't, look, like it didn't look like Angie. And it was just a picture of her ass. Yeah. Like, no, dude. <laughs> it is. No, okay, dude. Okay, her face doesn't look like Angie. Her face does, Oh, I don't even see her. Look, yeah. watch. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> That does not look like Angie to me. Angie. Oh, Angie. <laughs> you had your dick in your hand? Yeah. 145? Yeah, first of all. And would you, okay. Beating your shit to a girl to going Angie? up an elevator is crazy. But okay, it's would not you, possible. No, I've never beat my shit would to you, her. Would you treat Angie differently if... If she had that ass? <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but she got nobody. Angie says, says the blurb. And you don't let him talk, uh, talk about you like that. <laughs> I'm not a perv. I'm not a perv. <laughs> you call me fat all the time. So I can tell you got no body. She has a lot of body. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. But some fan was like, bro, tell me this is an Angie. And I sent a screenshot with the fan saying that, by the way. When I put oh, that out there. Yeah. But I was like, your but I was burner? like. The burner? <laughs> <laughs> send it to myself. It's crazy. <laughs> On the cheese with Luna account, just send it to myself. That's vicious. But dude, that shit had me dead. I was like, I thought the fan was just being freaky. You know, they'd be like super sexual about Angie. Yeah. And then, and then I looked. And then it was like, bro, the face fucking, that shit tripped me the fuck they out. Have, like, they, have a, they have a point a little bit. Which one of your friends likes Angie? None. <laughs> <laughs> I know she heard. No, I'm dead ass. Oh, okay. And one of my homies like Because I have one of your friends that I would ship Angie with. Who? Guess. Deep Poet? Deep Poet. No! <laughs> Put up a picture of Deep Poet. I love my best friend Angie. I would not ship We love Deep Poet. Well, shout out to Deep Poet. Wow, yeah. I fucked up, baby. <laughs> I found another homie that like Shadi Bay. You just fucking, <laughs> you just fucking said Angie has nobody and she has and a lot of body. And the homie Poet looks a little slow. <laughs> Yo, we were trying to Who find... Who would we ship uh, Angie with? That's your homies. Not Kith. Yeah, we were trying to buy crickets to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say call the poet. <laughs> but didn't he know? He did know exactly he did know. where. He, knew he was exactly like, hey, where. my girlfriend's at Oaxaca right now. She could bring some back. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Like, I mean, like, around here. He's like, oh, there's this store. Like, you know. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's slow. Eh? No, it's not because he's slow. It's like he's very indigenous. You're super. <laughs> And one time we were making fun of that food bad. Like, it was like a whole road session. And he thought I looked like my mom. And we're like, all right. <laughs> we're gonna fuck up the moment, fucker. <laughs> but who would I ship him with? I don't know. Who would you ship him with? What'd you think of? Peaser. No. He's really nice, though. Yeah, he is really nice. Yeah. Damn, I never noticed that. He was super nice. <laughs> you never noticed your homie's nice? <laughs> well, it's because we talk like bitch, fucker, <laughs> like yeah. fat bitch. Like, every time I walk in somewhere, like, what a fat, dumb bitch. And I'm like, damn, good morning to you, too. <laughs> Who, you, who, Whose who, birthday is this weekend? Oh, Denner. Denner. Yeah. Oh, you think they'll make a good couple? I think they would because he's tall and she's she needs a tall one. And she is pretty tall. Yeah. And she is pretty tall. I don't know. I, I, so if she was with Depot, it, she'd have, she couldn't wear heels. Yeah, if she could pick up the homie Depot. Yeah. I don't know. You think Denner and Angie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't stop thinking how you say it. He but, looks like Shadi Bay. Well, that he looks like Shadi Bay. Does he not? <laughs> the, <damn. laughs> the homie's mom called out for a nano face. That's fucked up for them. They called out for a horn. <laughs> Bro, Ooh. if you guys were to come kick it at the homies at Danner's mom's house, it's oh up. I think I, last time I tried to warn the homegirl she came, I, I felt like she wanted to go home and cry. Ah, oh, they was cooking, Pop. They was bad. <laughs> but shout out to homie Danner. It's his birthday this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's about to get horny dorny, you feel me? Happy birthday, Dennis. It's going up. I'm, 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 I have the lady already booked what for lady? Sunday. What lady? Oh, the IV. The IV lady. I already booked her ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I sold her half. That's smart. <laughs> you just know you're going to get super Hydration. Up. Yeah. Well, on Friday, I'm not because I got to film. Dude, Angie's just fucking off today. Jesus Christ. He has made her nervous. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, it's his birthday this week. I mean, shout out my homie. He's, a, he's, he's going into his 30s almost. How old is he? 29. Oh, he's, oh, knocking he's on a door. baby. Wow. Damn. Happy birthday, Denner. Hell he's yeah. turning 29. That's our dad right there. <laughs> Who's dad? That's our dad. Your dad? Damn, that's crazy. That's a group's dad. Wouldn't that's Vic crazy. be your dad? Uh, no, I've Denner's family. Oh, oh okay. So is Vic, but like me yeah. and Denner are like way closer than me and Vic. Yeah, I've known, I've known Denner. For but you've known Denner for a long time. A long yeah. time, too. Yeah, probably like, if now, like six, seven years, yeah. probably. I met Vic through Denner. Wow. Yeah. Now that I think about it, mm -hmm. 
Damn. You know what you could probably get dinner for his birthday? What? A puffy taco. A puffy taco. <laughs> Poofy taco. Poofy taco. Wait, hold up. How was Carol G? Hold I really on. Wanna... I want to talk about Poofy Tacos. Okay, Poofy okay. Poofy Taco. Right. I'm not just talking about the one. I'm kidding. <laughs> the one you just offered? <laughs> Whoa. Angie? You he did it, not me. Crazy. Wait, Carl G has a poofy taco? No. no. He said Carl G has a poofy taco. Oh, I didn't say that. Whoa. I did not say that. Whoa. He said the one you just offered. You're fucking super famous. She's the one that said I that. I didn't say that. When did I say that? Can you put cilantro in? The fact that it's true <laughs> does not. <laughs> yeah, shout out to poofy tacos. Have you ever had one? I've never had a poofy taco. <laughs> Vic? I don't know what they're talking about, so I don't know. Actually, I should not answer. Vic, have you I, had a poofy taco? Probably. Probably. <laughs> can a you poof. tell if it's poofy or not? A taco? Wait, can I tell <laughs> when? Like, okay. like from the job? I don't know if like you're talking about like, 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 food, bro. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was talking about, uh, I was about to be like, yeah, if we could tell with the gym clothes. <laughs> Whoa! Come to the shorts. Whoa! Ew! <laughs> Gross! Perv. What a perv, man! Okay, Vic got off. For, <laughs> there, man. Maxi, what can you tell? I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Vic's a perv. Oh, I'm a perv. Have you ever had a taco? Three months taco? later, asshole. <laughs> Never been to the restaurant to oh, get a poofy taco. Though. Okay, Daniela doesn't make poofy tacos. Okay. She doesn't make Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you, don't you know I'm local? It's a it's a it's a taco place called I think it's Arturo's. I don't know if you could look it up if you could click on the link. Puffy oh, it's taco. not. Open. We don't need the internet. <laughs> we don't need the internet. We need to say we don't need the internet. Hold on, I think I can reset it from my phone. Hold Angie on. dropped the Wi-Fi. She definitely dropped. Oh, the Angie dropped the Wi-Fi. <laughs> what a dumbass. What a yeah. We're back. Okay. The, Na na na. Poofy taco. Okay, <laughs> it is. I'm I'm with you, Angie. Arturo's Poofy Taco in is Whittier, a restaurant California. in Whittier. Okay, so what they have done is they've brought a Texas style taco, and he's calling it the Poofy Taco or Puffy Taco, and it is causing a stir. One because it's like a different type of taco that comes mm. to us from Texas. We love taking Texas stuff. I feel. Yeah, yeah Texas cool. The Edgar yeah. cut, the tacos, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's cool because everybody keeps moving out there. I know. Yeah, right? facts. Give us your food. Yeah. So this poofy taco, what do you think of it? I just want to talk about poofy tacos. It, it looks good. Yeah. yeah. Like, is that good. fries or is that like big ass cheddar cheese spots? Uh, cheddar that's cheese. Cheddar cheese. That's not, cheddar yeah. cheese. I'm not a huge fan of lettuce, so I'd probably ask for no lettuce. But, no lettuce. But you like a bald good. poofy taco? Yeah. Just, just, just get straight to it. <laughs> and then get over it three months later. Yeah. <laughs> This is San Antonio, bro. Would you rather a poofy taco <laughs> or a double like like the the two talk the two tortilla tacos? Mm. Like a double decker? No, like you know how tacos come mm. with two tortillas. Like the regular ones you get at the stands. Yeah. Would you rather a regular taco a or a poofy taco? He's still. He's so like <laughs> still. What? I'm, I'm what? Talk to you guys. What? It's him, it's him. What? This guy's rubbing like, his beard. Like, 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 like you like the poofy taco? Uh, but but and and I don't mind. I like food regardless, so I don't yeah. mind the two tortillas or the poofy yeah. taco. But that those is like it's kind of more Americanized, where you got like sour yeah. cream like and like Tex Mex. This is thirty year old bean purse. Yeah. So yeah. get over it already. This guy. Bro, you're married. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. It's him. All right. Original poofy taco. That's what I want. <laughs> no, you saw that's not even the question, dumbass. <laughs> the question was, do, do you, you prefer? Like the regular ones or the poofy ones? Regular ones. <laughs> regular With the ones? Hanging With the meat hanging out? <laughs> <still>. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That right that's there a good question. Is a pastrami sandwich, brothers. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. <laughs> okay, who's being a perk now? <laughs> no. It w- <laughs> onions or no onions? Mm. What's it would smell like grilled onions. <laughs> grilled onions. Grilled onions. Sour cream. Sour cream. Sure. Well, well, yes. well, I don't want a poofy <laughs> taco from him. <laughs> Look, hey, that's a dog, man. It's a bunch of old ass food eating poofy tacos. Oh, uh, I'll crack her down. Uh, her taco from the But it's from Texas. Is a thing. It's a Whittier. Shout out to Whittier and their poofy tacos over there. It looks good. I'll, I'll try it. Whittier where the girls are prettier and the, poof, right. the tacos are poofier. That's oh, a fact. shit. That's, that's, a, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. I've no, been to Whittier. Sh- How's Carol G, Letty? It was great. There's so many poofy tacos. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you wore pink? Uh, me and I, I wore red. You didn't see my picture? I thought you were wearing pink. He was only looking at Angie. That's why. Oh, okay. Fact. Sorry. You're telling me. Who are you looking at? Let the men and you in the picture. Who are you looking at? You, most definitely. 
you. I'm telling you, I just not my type. If she was, I would let her be known. Yeah. So you just said let these. I'm gonna tell you my poofy taco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, we got to move on now. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fire. Me and Angie had two different experiences. Why? Okay, and I blame, like, J. Cole and Kendrick for me thinking this way. I'm used to, like, hip-hop concerts, right? And if they're doing a tour, like, let's say um, Cole has the 2014 Forest Hills Drive mm-hmm. tour. He's going to run through the whole album. Right. Kendrick has Mr. Moran, the big steppers. He runs through through the the whole whole album. album. They have a little space where they do their hits or whatever. But for the most part, they run through their whole album. Carol G. Mañana Será Bonito tour. I am a fan of this album. I didn't I didn't listen to her before. And you mean I would be like, "Ah, Angie, why you like her so much? Right. Um, So she did a lot of her songs like she did like a lot of her catalog. And I'm just sitting there. Meanwhile, Angie's like, yes, 200 copas. Yes. What is it? Cielo? Uh, Ocean. Ocean. Yeah, Why does she get up into this? But like Angie loves, I'm she a fake Carol G fan. Yeah, I get I'm it. I'm the only fan of this album. I, n- I haven't listened to the before shit, but I'm like, okay, when's this song? When's Pero Tu Tu Tu? Or like, when's all the stuff I know? And then Angie's just every song, hit, hit, hit. So at one point, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go figure something out. So I went to go get tacos. <laughs> Poofy tacos? Poofy tacos. I went to go get tacos, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy some merch, because there was, like, no one, no line there. And then next to the merch was the the picture thing that I took a picture in front of. That's why I have my tacos, and I took uh, a picture. That's what I was talking about. That The filter makes your shit look pink. No, it's red. I feel like it makes it look pink. Did it look red to you, Vic? It was not. There's not a lot of light. Because it's, like, blurry, right? right? It's yeah, like, it's it like kind of blurry. Or maybe yeah, I'm I, thinking, like... I, I, th- I knew I th- it was I th- red, you but it, it wasn't like super bright. Can we show the video, please? Because I, I it's feel a like, picture. Let me see. It's red. That looks pink to me. It looks like rose pink. Like it's, rose is red. I mean, not red. rose pink. That tripped me out. I thought it was pink. I swear to God, That's I thought it was red. pink. That's red, bro. I, I when did you post this? Was was it Friday night? I posted it like two in the morning. That oh, I was uh, drunk. Yeah, yeah. That yeah makes that, sense. Yeah. Look, that's yeah. red, dog. Pink is on yeah. the pink is you on know, the thing. You know but look, what, I had the tacos. I had the tacos. Who took this uh, picture for you? Um, so everyone's waiting in line to take a picture. So there was a lady with her kid, and I had her take my picture, and I took her picture. Uh, ah, yeah, I was definitely, I was definitely drunk, but but overall, I was vibes. Yeah. What would you rate this outfit? I like this outfit. Yeah. Like it's like, it gives me like hoochie but mature vibes. Yeah. Because you got the he got the heels, but it's not like the heels. Yeah. You feel me? The the skirt is like appropriate, and then the top is like oh, wobbler. <laughs> like one wrong move, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's so true. Like, That's so true. Bro, girl, be risking it all to look yeah. good. Like, bro, but I do my thing. Bro, I feel like, like imagine- I'm very proud of that outfit, you guys. I'm very no, proud it, of that that's, outfit. That's, that's a great outfit. But when you see the Drake outfit, that just proved uh-huh. the point. Like that made me think about uh, about that. Like as men, I mean, I think so. Like maybe speaking for just yeah, us come two, on, Puffy Taco. Mm-hmm. We would never wear like something that like our <laughs> yes, balls would almost <laughs> would almost fall out of like oh shit like one wrong move my balls are popping out like you know what I'm saying poofy chorizo or poofy chorizo. Yeah. regular chorizo I only yeah. only concern with mine I'm a vegan <laughs> I'm a vegan <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I, but you know also I feel like you know it's one of those things where like you saw every I saw so many stories of girls just wearing pink. Yeah. That maybe that's why when I saw it, I was just like, oh, she's wearing pink. Yeah. True. Uh, or you should get your eyes checked. That too. But no, yeah. I, I feel like I have real good vision. One of no. my, my sisters really When wrong. I was walking in, it was all pink too. Oh, you went? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> you know what is girl? Well, you girl? were hanging out with a bunch of dudes. I was around a bunch of girls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you weren't cracking. You were booed up Says after 14 who? years. Yeah, but just his kidding. girl's so bomb. I love Daniela. She's so bomb. The homie yeah. definitely, like, you're like the ugly fool, huh? Yeah. Like, like they walk in, like, her girls, when you guys first got together, probably like, ugh. Nah. <laughs> Why are you with this guy right here? Uh, well, <laughs> boy, I got sauce, my boy. I got sauce. Hey, Shut did you ever, oh, this, this, watch, watch this question, let's see if you answer it. Did you ever date one of Daniela's friends before? No. no. Oh, never you dated. look so guilty. I never dated you so no. guilty. No. You did this, you did this. No. This, no, I've never dated another like, Daniela. Like, 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 Daniela got like <laughs> Daniela got like three what friends, bro. You for sure cracked one of them before. No. Nah. Look, 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 look. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? I, I, why are you making that face? I've never seen that. Why are you yeah. Yeah. Head? No, I have yeah, not. Yeah, why did you I, do I, that? I don't know. What's her name? Nah. She's probably a nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it again. <laughs> Is she was she Emmy's godmother? <laughs> no, bro. No, he's getting nervous. He's like, push the fuck up. No more Is my eye twitching? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he I'm ever, did he ever crack BMs, one of her friends before? 
You got with her? No. Or after? No. <laughs> Why is he looking at you? See how he looks like? <laughs> no. All right, you guys. How many friends does and she have? You wonder, Acquaintances? You guys wonder how girls catch you guys in life. <laughs> no. You guys turn into Stevie Wonder. Girl, you can't girl, even girl. Look at that. <laughs> Vic look she doesn't have a lot of friends. Ask okay. me, ask me, ask me, ask me. All right, have you ever... Fuck no! <laughs> okay. That's a lie. <laughs> Super That's no. a lie. I'm definitely trying to crack the homegirls. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was crazy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but I heard there was no security. Okay, the fights that everybody saw, I didn't see. Me I saw either. just good vibes. Wow. Yeah. Shout out Carol G, though, because the Rose Boy is still crazy. Yeah. I feel like they are conspiracy theorizing Carol G. Why? I think they're making the 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 fights up. Do you see all the fight videos? I seen the fucking, you know, the, the ultimate fight like catcher and street vendor protector, Alex. He posted a video. Know. Yeah, he posted a video of the dude shocking the street vendor. Oh, what? no, I was He's talking about at the Carol G concert. Oh, I... I feel like those only happen in like the most random TikTok where somebody's happens to be recording. Yeah. Because I get what you're saying. Every time I go to a concert, it's fine, it's, it's great. And then you yeah. like you see what the fuck? When did yeah. that happen? When did that happen? Damn, that's great. Bro, she made a lot of money. Yeah, shout out Carol 12, G. 12, like first Latina to like her tour, like biggest high selling, all that shit. And she deserves it because the album is incredible. Yep. I wish she did it all in full and didn't play all the other music, whichever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, was, I, was, for, I was a girl that like, Yeah, I, was, I did. Play, play, the, play the next for uh, one song. Mañana then, then, hmm. She yeah. was hyped for like yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. Wow. Because I have, I have, I, I know the album. I yeah. love the album. Incredible album. And then I'm just like, oh, I don't know this one. And then I go to stand up a little bit. Oh, I don't know that one either. Damn. I literally just left Angie with two people. You weren't trying to like learn floor. it on the fly? No, because it's, I don't know. I feel like there was a before Carol G. And me and Angie were talking about this. I know you don't want to talk about Carol no, G. No, 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 no. I know you wanted to overrule Carol G. Um, Carol G on her own? Beautiful. I know any Carol G. I'm over. We'll see, like the music before, right, Angie? Her, she's like, her music before Depressed. was more ratchet or, yeah, oh. more into that vibe, like, because mm. she was with that fool. Mm. And it's like, you know, like the different types of girls you are now. And now she's just more vibrant, it seems. Like, she's like done a whole level up, even in her music. Yeah. So I like whatever this music she's is. Like developed. More like Fade. Yeah. <laughs> she's like more developed. Hey, now. you should be enhancing your partner. Yeah. Your yeah, partner fact. should always, like, facts. And Were you guys there the night Becky G came out? No. No. That was the early night? We were the night before. Mm. Yeah. Did yeah. she bring anybody out? No. No. Young, no. Mi young Miko. Oh, Young Miko, yeah. yeah. Oh, Young Miko, yeah. Oh, he's she booming right she now. Killed. Oh, she killed. Oh, she's <laughs> booming right now. I said he's booming right now. She's <laughs> booming right now. The name is yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 Unisex name. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> Parking sucked. Whoa, I was going to ask about that before oh we moved on. Oh, my God. That's the reason I, I didn't go. Can I tell you guys my... I swear. Can I had I, tickets. I was like, I'm not going. Can I parking. tell you guys our whole situation? So Rose was by my house. So I had like a like like a quarter tank, and I was like, Oh, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go to the Rose Bowl. Oh no, we were like, we couldn't find any way in. Once we got in, Frank was like, Hey, I'll run you through. But it's getting there, right? It's getting into the freeway, and like it was dead stop, and it's dead stop, and your gas is running I, out. My gas is oh, running out. So it's worse the feeling. anxiety. And I'm like, dude, Frank, my thing is going to like my car is going to shut off in traffic. And he's like, no, I got you. So whatever. He put us in the in the lawn. We we're good to go. And I'm like, all right. I left early one because I didn't know any of the songs. And then I'm like, well, I'll let Frank take me out before so I could go to the gas station because I don't want to be in that traffic again on the way out because then I'd be fucking done. Yeah. Um, but he's flirting. Fucking Frank. <laughs> Cause he has the gar the cart. Oh, are you so, with the biddies? Yeah, with the oh, bitches. Exactly. So, so I'm like, hey Frank, I'm going ride? to my car. He's like, okay, I'll be right there. By the time he got there, everybody's out already. Like oh. people are out. And I was like, Frank, I came early so that you could take me out because now I have to wait. He's like, yeah, just. Uh, he's like, oh yeah, some girl said she's gonna flash me if I took her to her car. And I was like, nah. I'm like, you're lying because you took forever. <laughs> she flashed you. You took her to her car. He's like, but yeah. He's like, some girls like, give me your phone. I'll give you my number. And I'm like. But then I also see it, this fool riding around in a car, bitches with their heels, like yeah. they're gonna wanna ride, they're right? Yeah. And so is he. Horns. So, <laughs> I like so that. he's like, hey, just wait till like midnight and I'll take you. So I took it, I'm like, all right, I'll take a nap. I wake up at 1 a.m. and he's still not there. And I was like, bro, Frank, I wanna go home. It's one in the morning. Um, and he wrapped up and then we drove to the gas station and I filled up my tank and then I went home. If it was in the car on the gas station? Yeah. No, no, no. He got in his car now after oh. that. But he was in the cart running around Rose yeah. Bowl, and then he turned it in. But I'm like, damn, you really fucking made me wait because you were macking on bitches. You wait, so, wait, so how did Angie go? 
Uh, her sister was there. Her sister and her cousin. Oh. So she went with them. The place, things like that give me anxiety, like parking yeah. and parking shit like that. Parking is crazy at Rose Bowl. Yeah. And there's no way to make it better because it's all about the ways into Rose Bowl. Granted, there's a lot of parking, but it's just out. There's like, it's only little streets and houses yeah. and like, there's no way in except little slivers of road and all of that gets packed. There's yep, You can't bad. make it that better. Yeah. Well, nothing can make that better. At all. Unless you bulldoze through the houses and just make a <laughs> fucking freeway or some shit. Yeah. But they don't oh, want to do that. That's no. a fucking shit mm -hmm. you. Yeah. But shout out her for killing it. Yeah, shout uh, out to her she, for killing two it. Two nights in a row. Yeah. And she just did Lollapalooza. Yeah, first. Which was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. she's I killing it. I love you, Carol G. Yeah. I'm sorry, I only like one album. Get on. <laughs> yeah. There's more but, to love. There's more to love. Shout out for the Reina. They're going to be at camp Flog now. Flog now. That's yeah. crazy. That really caught me by surprise. When I, that caught me by surprise, that means Tyler's hipped. Yeah. Hipped. <laughs> no, yeah, that's he, super fire. He's in tune mm -hmm. to the Paisa vibes. Yeah, that's super brown pied. I ain't gonna lie, Shout though. Out Ken I get why they're right before Caliucci's because it's like not a Latino thing. I've never been to Camp Flogna, but is there multiple stages? I've never been either. You know what's crazy about Camp Flogna is that they're little trolls. Like the actual. Like, the audience is a hard-to-please audience. Mm -hmm. Like, Drake showed up, and they were pissed. Oh, yeah. they put Like, it's that type of audience. Oh, because they thought Frank Ocean yeah, was coming out. Yeah, and they're like, fuck you, we don't want Drake here. And Drake was tripping out. Like, I no know. one boos me. Like, what the fuck? I'm Drake. Yeah. So it's like, that. that's the type of audience that there is there. It's very, like, unimpressed, like, ill. Yeah. So you need to do very a hipster. lot. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but, like, more than ever, I've never gone to Camp Vlognog. I never really wanted to go, to be honest, even though I'm a big fan of Tyler and, like, Odd Future and stuff. Yeah. But this one, I'm like, ah, I want to go now. Yeah, it's like Same. it's a lot of artists: Pink Panthers, Caliuchis, Ice Spice. The Hillbillies. The Hillbillies is gonna be yeah. crazy. Kendrick and Baby Kendrick Keem, and Baby Keem. Keem. So like oh, now I'm, I'm hyped. Yep. Yeah, I'm hyped for that. How did the creator put it? And Kuko's gonna be there. Shout Your out boy. Kuko. Yeah. You got Ice Spice. Willow. <laughs> Damn, that's a crazy. That's just. Is that Little Mystery? Oh no, it's Livey. I thought it was Little <laughs> Mystery. I was like, bro, Little Mystery performing Ooh. that shit. That's sick. Then it's a crazy lineup. Shout out for Zareida doing this shit, clips. man. Yeah. All right, is it two oh, days? Clips too. Yeah, yep. it's two days, yeah. yeah. So the first part is one day? Probably and then the not. second part is another day? No, no. It'll be different. Or the way they, they, spread the way out they the, did it, yeah. The acts. Yeah, I yeah. think just the way they did it, they didn't want to put, put it like exactly how it's going to be. Mm. Shout out them, though. Shout out Tyler and them. They're yeah. doing their shit. Can't vlog nice. I've... So uh, LA Taco was doing. Uh, some investigation on like investigative reporting yeah investigative reporting and they asked the LAPD some questions about like drugs and I from what I read is that they didn't expect the LAPD to actually send them this menu like and they actually sent them like a spreadsheet menu <laughs> it's almost menu like like a yeah. restaurant it of is. like the drug prices in LA wow okay are we okay because like, can we see who are for what reporter as this for the LPD? It should or be on, on this article. It's um this dude shot by 35 mm. Yeah, Alexis Oliver Ray. Olivia okay, so Ray. this fool is doing a thing about like drugs, right? Yeah. And then he's like, fuck it, why not? An expose. Fuck it, why not get super deep into it, journalist vibes? Let me go ask the LPD for like uh, a statement on drugs or whatever. I like how yep. it looks like a menu. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, the, and the funniest <laughs> thing, like there's there's some drugs that have like uh, new on it, like yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Psilocybin mushrooms, new. Oh, yeah, yeah. psilocybin mushrooms. What the fuck? Hey, whoever did this, you you have a career on making spreadsheets <laughs> and prices and shit. Cause what the fuck? It was a lot of shit that I'm like, damn, I, I don't know enough about drugs. Cause I'm yeah. like, there's Mexican black tar whole, like heroin, and then there's also Mexican brown heroin. I had no idea. Yeah. Didn't know there was a difference. Yeah, me either. Oh, fuck, I feel like. And then there's like China white heroin. This is this is a lot for me. It feels yeah. devilish to me. <laughs> I know. Like I it feels like, like, like it feels like I feel like, ah, like, like I feel like I'm gonna be part of a documentary. Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of how they use let these clip about the birds. Oh, and vice. Yeah, yeah. vice. <laughs> oh, they're gonna clip it and be like, yo, dude, no talk about. That's crazy that they said that like that. That's crazy. Hold on, hold on. Peyote is two hundred dollars per plant. Yeah. I see. We, we gotta crazy. move on. Ketamine. Yeah. Six bucks, damn. Shout out, oh, I didn't see it, but shout out Blue Beetle, man. Oh they, my beat, God. they beat the Barbie. The, the Barbie. Barbie. This, this, just for this week. And this is, yeah. mind you, this is Barbie's like third or fourth week. And then this is the opening <gasps> week for Blue Beetle. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but Blue Beetle is the greatest movie of all time. Whoa. 
um, right above The Godfather, right next to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <sighs> Phenomenal Mutant movie. Mayhem. That's a fucking reach, saw. Vic. But I love you it. haven't watched it. You gotta watch it. You're I'm gonna a, love it. I might go today. Fuck around, take a bro, bitch on a date. You'll honestly love it. Like as I'm watching it, I was like, I wish, I was like, I wish Brown Bag was here. I swear, me and Lil Vic were dying I thought you were laughing. Gonna say I wish I was brown. <laughs> 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 Man, I wish I was Mexican. I'll just sit in the sun for a while. I'll be fine. Um, no, you turn red, fool. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, so I was watching it, and, bro, it's so dope. Like, from the immediate, like, as soon as it starts, like, you just hear, like, our type of music. Like, it's just like, boom. What's and our type of music? <laughs> like, Calle 13. <laughs> oh, Calle 13. Bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And literally, it's like, I'm like, oh, the shit, they're getting into it. It's the so, friggin? yes, it's so fire, bro. Like, the whole thing, just even, the, like, the, the way that, like, the mom and, like, the, the dynamic between the siblings mm -hmm. is, like, Literally, it's like you and your siblings, bro. Like, her, she's like, you fucking stupid ass bitch. Like, like they're like that, bro. They're going they in on talk each other. Like that? I swear to God. Shut up. No, they don't call her stupid ass bitch. Yeah, but it's then, like, okay. I was like, what? What, what the no, fuck? But like, She's making a whole different movie. Do we know the script? We all go watch it and it's like, <laughs> well, no, love but you, bro. Love love you, not my only no, they're, they're, well, I see where we're going. No, they're, right? but they're talking to each other aggressively. Even the relationship between the parents is like, like, they're, like, telling the little, like, son to, like, man up. Like, just use your strength. Like, all this shit. It shit was tight. It's, it's, it's not, it's not <laughs> that corny. Cool. Three on it. How's, no, bitch. <laughs> how's the Spanish in the movie? There, there's, a, there's a good amount. There's a good amount. No, no, no. But how's, like, like <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, you know. Like, how is it? What type of Spanish? Like, Because it's, it's, like, like, it's, like, you watch, like, uh, like for on my block, and the white girl that happens to be a racist that dies, she's, like, Metan in a hundred Canadian, like she her Spanish was terrible. She happened even to be Latina. No, I think I think they hired um, like the the par the older people, the older cast. I think they're actually like Mexican actors from Mexico because I didn't recognize them, but they were like great actors, right? Wow. So okay. I didn't look it up, but like like the the grandma, like dude, she was an amazing actress, bro. She was awesome, and I was like, but she was just speaking Spanish the whole time. Uh, and then even the the dad, he looked kind of familiar. But I was like, nah, he has to be, like, a Mexican actor from, like, a professional. You know, like, from, like, he mm -hmm. does other shit. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great. It That's was fire, everything. man. Start to finish, I was like, Chap a Chapulín Colorado makes a fucking cameo? Like, sí. it's, it's crazy. Are Shout you going to be Blue Beetle for Halloween? I might now, because Lil Vic is, like, so, I was like, dude, this is so sick. I think who's, so. Who's, like, his superhero? He loves Miles Morales. Mm. So it, did Blue Beetle make him want to go back to his culture? Yeah. Miles Morales is yeah, he's would Latino. Be. Miles Morales is not Latino. Yes, yes he, he is. is. Yeah, he's he does Latino. have black half, half Latino. Latino. Yeah. Oh, he's mixed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, he's a black skin. Yeah. Fire. Um, no, I think he's Puerto Rican. Oh, he's Puerto Rican. Oh, he's Puerto Rican. Oh, yeah, he's Puerto Latino. Rican. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my way. <laughs> yeah. No, but bro, this is so fire. Isn't it's the bad guy like a red guy? Yeah. Cause okay, so you know, like I told you, Mario and Luigi, Jorito's Mario, Luis's Luigi, uh, Paw Patrol, Jorito's Chase. Chase. Luisito Marshall. is Marshall. Mm -hmm. For this movie, Jorito's like, I'm Blue Beetle, and then he's the red guy. But the red guy's bad. Yeah, he's so a he's bad like, guy. So he's like, I want to be the red guy. So I'm like, oh my God, I got to figure out who, who who's who. One's blue, one's Beetle. <laughs> well, there's going to be two Blue Beetles, though. Probably. Oh, damn, I'm ruining everything. Oh, shut oh, up. Oh, my I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry. Gosh. I swear to God, so high, bro. Vic, let us watch it. God damn. How I gave you guys it? four days. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So it was a good movie. Shout out to Beetle. It's great. We gotta go watch Spilling all the beans. So you actually met that fool. Vic actually sent uh, some picture of a new haircut. You want to explain it? There's a new Aiden unlocked. That looks like <laughs> a lean cut. He oh said he got a michelada cut. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Who does this to their kids? The I mean, way he's standing makes me feel like he doesn't like the cut. He yeah. definitely don't like that shit. Michelada cut. <laughs> and my heart hurts. <laughs> michelada. So you guys michelada laugh, cut? but I'm sad. Oh, I saw this. I was like, no way, bro. But like, definitely somebody's dad was like, it's going to be fucking sick. He's yeah. going to be the first one. This this makes me wish I had a little brother. Melted paleta yeah. haircut? I've always wanted a little brother just so I could do some dumb shit to that fool. That's why I feel bad for Aiden. I'd be smacking the shit out of him for no reason. He'd be walking like by this. me. <laughs> He'd be like, deal. I'd be like, fool, we you know this, this is the way we vibe, brother. Oh, my gosh. I'd be tripping that fool. Damn, bro, that's just hilarious. Yeah, I was like, okay, no Edgar report. This is a this is a special Aiden report right here, because well, I, I'm curious to see the front. They're they're only showing the back. Little but this, baby. I just know that as soon as like a bad bunny or like somebody pulls this off, oh yeah, this kid's gonna be the originator. Yeah, oh, people dog. get a little too creative with with haircuts. I'm gonna be honest. 
Shout out the curves though, they're very on point. <laughs> but dude, it's fucked up, fool. Yeah. It's it fucked up, but he's it's sad. Also I can tell and I can't slime. even see his face. And he's hungry, I could tell. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? His little shoulder blades are Fuck crazy. Yeah, yes. yeah, them walls in the back are crazy. Crazy. Oh. He's definitely in Spend the Spend all that time doing that haircut. Paint a wall, please. <laughs> <laughs> that she got my deal holding it? Yeah. Oh, dog, this is a crazy cut. Shout out the cut though. I mean, it's very creative. Whoever did it did a good job. Yeah. You know, although it's probably like Super fucked up. Yeah. Poor kid. He does look sad, though. Huh? He looks look so thing. sad. It's just the angle. <laughs> tell no, people to stop doing this. No, you could tell the kid has kids. his arms crossed. He's dude, so sad. Fucking D-Poy be telling me about cutting kids' hair. He's like, dude, I only cut one kid's hair, and that's my cousin's baby. He's like, bro, that shit fucking sucks. Yeah. The boys are good with cuts. Yeah, but you're, well, fucking hold. He feels like a little man. Yeah, but so they, yeah. They've but been getting cuts for so long, they just are like, all right. He's no, but there's, I've, I've been there before when I'm cutting my hair and a little kid comes like next to where Depot. And bro, it just fucking, it doesn't, like, it ruins my, like, peace of mind. It's like, uh, ah, and I hate kids. Oh, fuck yes, yes, yes. You I've, and Angie, right here. <laughs> Angie, you don't like kids? No. You guys could not have kids together. Fuck him. We'll adopt. We'll adopt. Now, Kip. We'll adopt? We'll adopt. Ooh. So you're saying you're going to be together? Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> you know right. what? I've been thinking about the now, not the future. All right. Shout out SeatGeek. All right. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Woo! With over 28 million downloads. SeatGeek! SeatGeek Seat Seat is the number one rated ticketing I app. love geeks and seats. Ow. Whoa. Um, Whoa. So Ivan Coronajo, Romeo Santos are on tour. Uh -huh. And I want to go. So I'm going to go on SeatGeek and try to find some tickets because the ratios there are crazy. What do you mean ratios? The guy to girl ratio. Oh. There's so many more girls at those concerts. But shout out SeatGeek, man. Yeah. <laughs> do we have a code for the Brownback thing? We do. Uh, so we have code BROWNBACK20 to yeah. get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. And That's fire. Don't forget that every single ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Come on. Yeah, SeatGeek. Uh, Brownback 20. Brownback 20 is the code. What concert are you looking forward to when you could get on SeatGeek? I know you said Ivan, Ivan Coronejo. Romeo Santos. Yeah. Mm. So nasty. Grupo Frontera is coming in November. Oh, yeah, they are Ooh. coming again. Yeah. Get and you know what? Get your tickets on Seeky. This Saturday, I'm going to go see El Tri with my family. Nice. And guess what I'm using, Letty? Seeky. Yeah. That's at Microsoft, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Shout out El Tri. That's right. And El Tri with Seeky. <laughs> Me and my mommy. Angie, is there any other concerts? We, we did a whole list of the concerts coming up. Yeah, there's a couple uh, other ones. I know there was like a September. Oh, Beso, another one. Beso Pluma's coming Beso Pluma. back to uh, Anaheim. And guess who we're going to use, Vic? Seat Geek. With Brownback 20. That's right. Maximo, if you want to go oh, see... Oh, 100. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Seat Geek yes. for sponsoring this episode. You That's so me. awesome. Shout out Seat Geek. Shout out Seat Geek. Yeah. Our first white sponsorship, and we love you guys You're very so dearly. <laughs> but no, shout yeah. out you guys. Are, the, the link is in the description. Make sure you guys use Brownback yeah. 20 to get 20% off. $20. $20, $20 off. If your mom wants $20. to go see her Sancho at yeah. his house... She could use Siki. If your dad wants what to go Angie? cheat on your mom. No, they don't have those tickets. They do not Siki. have those tickets. What, Angie? Angie, well, guess what we're going to use to go see Zizzle? Siki. Thank you, Siki. What? Music. Oh, Music Soul Child. And then. Brand oh, Fire. Brand Fire. Brand Fire. Brand Fire. Brand Fire. You're so cute. After I you love too. you. Yeah. Yeah. Round back 20 on Sea Geek to go see Zizzle. Yeah. And then yeah. three in Grupo Frontera. Yeah. I can't wait for Grupo Frontera. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Can't wait for Brand Fires. Yeah. What's up? You listen to Brand Fires? Hell yeah. Get the press on, brother. I'm not, brother. He's just freaky. That's it. Do you guys, have you guys ever been to a rock concert? Like death metal? Oh. No, no, probably for you, but I think I just say rock, like rock. No. Oh, I've never been to like a death metal one. I've not. I, you chose death metal. <laughs> I just said rock. No, no. What, what kind what of rock? Kind of different type of rock. That's what just I'm saying. rock. Whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. rock means to you. What rock? Muse. Muse. Fire. Are you kidding? I swear to God, it was great. I was literally about to say I want to go see Muse. I've seen Muse and it made me cry. But it I was love great. Muse. And then the, you guys know Muse? I don't know Muse. Space they had this um this. Do you know thing? the song Space Dimension? Yes. Oh my God. They had this thing called the museum, <laughs> which is a museum of all their outfits. Let the man. Uh, <laughs> take a deep breath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's <laughs> super cool. Um, Whoa. 
Wait, I'm just kidding. Me, just kidding. And, me and Maximo are both the halfers. And yeah. there are things that I'm like, wow, is it because we're both half and half? Oh, yeah. and is Mu spelled M U Z E or M U S E? S E. S E. And what? And it's like alternative oh, rock. It's yes. alternative, but it's oh, amazing. Uh, it's classics. big. You gotta know. Is it like the Smiths? Is it like no. Thirty Seconds to Mars? No. No. They're their own. Is thing. it like Dashboard they're Confessional? Thing. No, they're not even that. They're Are like, they white boys? Yeah. Is it like <laughs> Death Cab for Cuties? No, they would, they that's would, too alternative. They would Muse be is more in the like, hardcore. Red Hot yeah. Chili Pepper, like but, even, oh. but not Red Hot Chili How big Pepper. They are. Is it like uh, Butthole Surfers? <sighs> Vic, what no, the? You're a Butthole Surfer. Sound like surfer. a porn fucking site. That's a band that I've Bubble never heard surf. of. Is I've it like Bare Naked Ladies? No. This okay. is Vic's it's not. Like, that's like, more pop alternative. Okay. Muse is kind of like a bigger sign. I know he said Red Hot Chili Peppers. I would just. They're really their own They're thing. Not if, it, as if it's this hard for you guys to put them in a thing, that means they have to be amazing. They're legendary, good to be. bro. Legendary. Do you guys know about That's Muse? That's so cool. Shout out to everybody uh, in the, if you're in the comment section and you know Muse. I literally, Maximo, I'm not going to freaking lie to you. Yesterday, I was listening to Muse. Muse? That's crazy. I've never heard of them. Yeah, yeah they got them. hits, bro. You guys wouldn't like it, but I'm going to show you. I'm sure you've heard Madness. I'm is, it like, is it like Incubus? Oh, Vic, stop God. guessing. Please put it on names. I'm just remembering every single here. rock band that I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, like Panic at the Disco. Vic, yeah. shut the fuck up. <laughs> but you know what? Me. Listening to that shows how they paved the way for like the Linkin Parks. No. Because, no, no, no. no, no. no. What I'm Linkin saying Park is, is probably the, the yeah, same, before. probably same yeah. round before. <laughs> this white boy shit. Oh, it's Can like the neighborhood. Can we go see Muse together? Yeah. As long as you guys you see Geek Brown Bag Wait, wait, wait. You heard this Who the fuck is Muse? <laughs> Let me tell you You will guys. be amused Wait, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna spaz out on my okay, alternative right. stuff There's a fucking clip right here oh The Muse God. clip Is it like Green Day? Muse <laughs> No I just thought I thought that was the moment To give a shout out and to Muse And for girls it's Oh yeah there. Muse <laughs> 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 Shout out Muse Let me see Wait Go ahead Talk about your Muse So we had we lived in um, what is it called? What are apartment they called? Not apartments, but they are similar to apartments. Duplexes, condos? townhouses, condos, condos, a townhouse. And there was one above ours, and the they were alternative boys and my sister, and we're off homies, and they listened to music, so they put us up on Muse. Uh. And it was a time I was going through like a really bad breakup with my oldest son's dad, and like that hard type of that hard type of breakup music is the music that I like, mm. like "Fuck You, Lucy" by Atmosphere, yep. incredible song. Fire. There's this song <laughs> called "Space Dementia," and like one of the bars is like, "You make me sick because I adore you so," and it was mm. like all those all those games you play, the tricks you, and like when that was going on, I'm like, "Oh my god, this is speaking for me," and literally no one could speak for me but these rock bands. Mm. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Sounds like you have me a Red Bull, please. I'd say that real quick before. She showed us a very super depressing song that I'm listening to if I ever get my heart broken oh. again. <laughs> but look how it starts. No, that's fucking sad already. Oh, shit. All right, there's that. That's me. It's, you just got to be in the worst fucking pain of your life and play Muse. Uh. And you're like, yes. If you see them live, you understand. Yeah. Shout out to the Valley fun. Kids. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, shout out to bro. Because... Because, I, I love it. I love because, that about us. Because, I love you know, that we can fucking vibe on that that's, shit. And, and, and that's because I really like ska. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like one of those things where I try yeah. to explain to people. I'm like, yeah. it's kind of like reggae and punk mix. Yeah. yeah. I like ska too. But, but I'm like, but I'm, but there's like super sad songs in ska music. Yeah. Or like one day you'll and sing it's like to you a video. Know a lot of people won't understand you, but the ones that get you, you're like, oh, we're fucking tight. We bond. But that's yeah. fire. That's yeah. that's. That's how me and my hey, You know what's crazy? I feel like the moment you guys had is one time I was like on a date with a little bitty. And I was driving, mm -hmm. and it was my first car. Vic, did you know me? What Let car? Me, maybe what car I knew. Was it? I had the little, the little blue one, a Toyota Camry. I oh, definitely no. knew you and Vic. Yeah, I knew I, you wouldn't. You didn't have a car. Exactly. I was in the little, in the little Allison's little yeah. for little, Guatemalan car that they bought from boy, over there. Little boy, Ooh, little boy, little boy. They bought, dude, and out and fucking red, like red star bumps came on. Tumbleweed, mm -hmm. yeah, and then I changed it right away. Not that I, not that I was uh, embarrassed, but I was like, but I was like, but I was like, ah, she gonna think I'm a fucking weirdo, <laughs> and she's like, that's my shit. Ooh. And we fucked that night. Wow, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that escalated very fast. Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought there was something gonna be in between. No, that. we sang the song. Speaking, of <laughs> we sang yeah. the song. We sang the song together, but you know, it was like a vibe. Like you know, we we bonded. Yeah, I'm not and saying that. And then we bonded for real. I have yeah. the weirdest like I, no, let music me say selection. It. He's weird. 
So we went to the Canelo thing in my car, but he had plugged in his phone to charge it. And if you plug in your phone, you're in the your your yeah. music place. CarPlay. So it's like, it's like let's say it's like Baby Keem, then Luis Miguel, <laughs> then then like um, Joji, then Joji. I don't know who the heck Joji is. Then to EDM, like it was just it bounces, and I'm like, this shit is fucking insane. This is a crazy ass music playlist. Yeah, I have the do, wildest. You, do you stuff. live your life on shuffle? Yes. That's weird. No, that's pretty cool. My cousin does that. The one that picked me up when um, he lives in Chicago picked me up one time. And then he was just on shuffle the whole time. And I'm like, bro, I haven't heard this song in like 14 years. Nice. And he's like, live life on shuffle. Yeah. He's like, you'll thank me later. I was like, ooh. And then when I dropped him off, like this song started playing. Like that's his playlist. <laughs> I and, swear and to so God. He'll listen to that. And that was after like some like, I don't know, fucking problems by ASAP Rocky. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then it would be that. And he wears Nas socks. Yeah. This is the only time i've ever seen but you know what i'm talking shit ever i'm talking life. shit but you were on shuffle when eddie zuko came on and that's how i got put on by him wow yes uh, that was crazy see? i'm talking shit but you know what you know what? i prefer the card with you two than vic because it's like big swift to? and there's like oh, something gosh. else that i've never heard of and then he tried to show yeah. me a song he tried to convince me to post it on my story <laughs> no <laughs> <That is> just, <laughs> but but i like no, you know I what like i don't know what to shit. play when other people are in the car because how did i do for how did i do I with that one time we drove around no you did pretty good yeah, they cool. I learned some new when songs. Did I, I was like, oh, time. When we drove around, when we did the, um, when we took pictures on all the cities. I feel like. Oh, remember he played yeah. Akinelli? That was tight. Yeah. And I was like, you guys know this song? Yes, we're like, I mean, <laughs> shut the fuck up, fool. Yeah. And then you played <laughs> something else that we were all like. We were playing oh, a lot of Nip. I remember that. We played, we played a, lot played a lot of Nip. Yeah. I have SoundCloud Nip songs. Fire. Like on my SoundCloud, I have a lot of old school Nip shit. Dude, I was realizing the other day, I logged into my SoundCloud after a while. Dude, I have some super low key corridos. That I was charging my homies a dollar to cash at me if they want the bangers. I was yeah. like a dollar fool if you want this shit right yeah, now. My SoundCloud has a uh, Travis Scott Days Before Rodeo, and it has like the old Playboy Cardi stuff. Yeah. Damn. Fire. Ooh. You know, I thought it was Days Before Rodeo, and I told him <laughs> that. He's like, "Why would it be Rodeo?" I'm like, "I don't know, dog. I read it like Rodeo, like Rodale the dark. real day, and I wouldn't call it Rodeo. But I'm like, I don't know. For some reason, when I read it, I feel like you'd say Rodeo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's Travis crazy. Scott follows me. Really? What? Yeah, random. That's my random that's like celebrity fire. that follows me. That's on crazy. Twitter. On Twitter. Oh, on Twitter. Twitter. Still, that's still crazy. That's still he crazy. He wants to know my thoughts. Travis, <laughs> Travis is, on X. Is, he's low key yeah. a Twitter OG, like not OG yeah. OG, but like the Travis XX handle was yeah. like he was around for a long time. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Shout that's out to you guys' playlist. Oh, Muse is crazy. I've never. I'm, I'm asking my sister about that. Yeah. She'd be depressed. Fire. Muse. I like the but Smiths. Why did I ask that? Oh, Siki. Siki. <laughs> well, bro. If they are in concert, I want to go see them. Same. And I will use Siki. Siki. Right. Brown back yeah. 20. Especially because Fern doesn't have rock tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you look at the rock shit? I don't think so. We don't have rock tickets. Mm. So what about the other station? They don't do rock. I thought they were rock. The, I, don't the rock. I don't know what they are. Honestly, to I be don't. Honest. Like, I don't know what. Shout out to them, though. Yeah, they're cool. They, they have this, like, like I remember meeting one of them, mm -hmm. and the smell stuck with me. That fool had the smell of coffee and cigarettes. Yep. yep. And, and it reminded, right. and it reminded right. me of them fools. And the other day, I was like, I was driving. I think yeah, I was they, coming they, here. They played mainstream and rock. I, and, and, I passed, okay. and I passed by, and I was like, ah, the smell of coffee and cigarettes. Right. And I was like, that's... I love the smell of coffee but, and cigarettes but in the morning. These fools on set, shout out to Watch, these fools are cigarette, the smell of... Cigarette and coffee. Oh, chain it's, smokers? It's fucking. Wait, not which you. one of you smoke cigarettes? Jeff. Jeff, oh, Jeff. Jeff smokes oh, cigarettes. So when Jeff. you first get there, he's the one that's telling you where to go. Elvie's being like a boss, you know? Like, Elvie's like, don't talk to me. Give me By my. By the way, if me and Vic don't look dead today, it's because of Jeff. <laughs> Shout out, Jeff. Shout out, Echo World. Because Jesus been... Christ, hey. y'all had us looking Can we talk crazy. about that? I was honestly really depressed Did for I a couple dead? days. Oh, Did I look so dead? Sad. No, bro, you look good. No, it was me. I looked like I aged 10, 12 years. And Fact. I was like, I literally asked the chat, do I really look like this? And nobody replied. <laughs> yeah. You had to double check. That shit no, you really look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I really look like this in real life? Every day? Yeah. Nah, shout no, shout out. No, oh, you okay. look great, brother. Thanks, thanks. I, and, and yes, that shit reminded me of that shit. Shout out, Jeff. Because it was, okay. I was like. Oh, a cigarette. Because I remember one time I was pulling up and then we had to like film early in the morning. I don't know what the fuck we we're doing. And I was like. 
Fu, are you drinking a coffee and smoking a sugar at the same time? He's like, that's what you do when you go through the laparro. I found out all these foods were like in, in some type of like war shit, like army, the marine, uh, navy. Okay. I'm not too sure. I forgot. <laughs> I know, I know they're like super prideful about the shit. But when I started finding that out, I would just pull up everywhere and be like, ooh, brah. And I'll be like, that's not what we are. And I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll just put that food. Thank it, you guys for your service, by the way. Yeah. Appreciate it. And concrete does that too. What? Concrete smokes a cigarette like and fu- a black. <laughs> that was old school, dog. He smokes black and mouse <laughs> with a Red Bull or Coke. Oh and he just God. talks to you, yeah, perrito. All wow. these like, body spray, like, help me. <laughs> but look, but look, help. Let me understand. I was like, I had just turned 20. I'm around these 30 year olds, and all these fools are like talking about their kids. And they're so so the only one that's like still depressed. But all these fools are talking about I'm like, find so so um, a partner. We gotta find him a baddie, yeah. yeah. But but I, I was all these fools are like talking about their kid, and they'll just be in there like train smoking. I'll be right there, like, yeah, they're like, what are you doing tomorrow? Train smoking. And I was like, shit. and I was like, shit, I'm just chilling, but right though. Yeah. Like, What's a I'm train like, smoke? Train smoking is actually pretty interchangeable with chain smoking yeah. if you it's think about chain it. Smoking. Oh, it's chain smoking. <laughs> I don't know. To bust I don't a train know why they're chain smoking. Yeah. <laughs> that just means you're passing it around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were definitely sharing cigarettes. Yeah. The last oh. one. Hey, they were feeding for the last who one. Who was sharing cigarettes in COVID time? Who's a train smoker? Hold on. Wait, you shot that in COVID. Yeah, I, was, I don't smoke cigarettes. No, I know, but I'm saying you guys shot that in COVID. If you were 20, you did it in 2020 because you were born in 2000. You yeah. guys are train smokers? So you guys were train smoking wow. during the middle of COVID? Nah, nah, That's they were crazy. doing it away from set. But oh. you know what's fucked up? They had like the little runners. What are they called? The PAs. They had the PAs instead of the... So this fool would ask for like a certain lens or like a certain thing we need for the thing. But guess where the runners were at? Wait. At the liquor store run for these fucking chain smoker fools. The chain smoker fools? But side of the chains. But that reminded me of them fools. But oh. I feel like you could get rock tickets from them. <laughs> Thanks. It all comes back around. Right. <laughs> you know what? I don't need to because I could go see you. She keep on back yeah. 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 And if you ever want to see the chain smokers in concert, yeah. fuck you. Right. Yeah, no, that's a see, that's, that's a real group. group. That's a real group. Yeah, yeah. they're EDM. Yes. You'd like them. Yeah. What, what, what chain type smokers of EDM? remix of Kid Cudi. You know chain smokers. You yeah, know chain smokers. smokers. I this but yeah, shout out these fools for causing everybody cats on set. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you drink and, and eat at the same time? What, what? Can you like eat like a meal and drink at the same time? What do you mean? Like like a beer with a carne asada? Are you? Wait, who are you asking? I'll Both of you guys. We oh. all yes. I, I don't I don't prefer it unless it's, maybe it's like a michelada. Yeah, but I rather have like a regular like a regular beverage, and then I'll drink after. I don't like drinking without food. To me, I remember the first time I went to a bar and it's like, oh, this is just alcohol. People just come here to only drink. <laughs> No one eats anything. Because before that, it's like, I know restaurants, and, and the first time at a bar, you don't really know the scene like mm-hmm. that. And I was like, there's no food. There's Damn. just drinks. That is so weird to me. Damn. There's no food I don't like to eating it. a lot when a lot of liquor's involved, because then I end up throwing up like I did on Saturday. He's <laughs> throw up on his dad's carpet, dog. I know. Big. I know. I don't even remember. That's the fucked up part. My dad wakes me up, and he's like, hey, wake up, mijo. And I was like, what's up? He's like, did you throw up on the carpet? And I was like, no. Straight, like, if you would have made me pass a lie detector test, I would have passed it. Mm-hmm. And then I looked, and then I had, like, a flashback of, like, me just throwing up, like, getting up in the middle of the night, throwing up, and then falling back asleep. And then uh, did he I was like... Did you red? No, no, she had already left by then. And then I was like, damn, she I'm so sorry. Vic. I was like, like I, was, I was like, I'm so, so sorry, Dad. The video There's a new one? He wasn't mad. Already? He wasn't mad? You said that you were going to have some time off. I tried. <laughs> okay, this is him, man. For real, right? He's with like a bunch of twenty-year-olds just getting drunk. Oh, big! <laughs> we put you look big so. Look at him! 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 <laughs> look at him what look are you him. doing? You gotta Vic? send that. You what gotta send that doing? video, in. Victor. What are you doing, Vic? I, I can't even see it. And then, I don't and know. Then he does this. And then the girl right there, look. But there isn't no so, so sexy red. And look, look how he's looking at her. She looks okay. crazy there. When I first saw her, she's good. I gotta understand that not everybody jokes like we do. And I was like, damn, big ass forehead. I just, <laughs> and she looked at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> you said that? Like, to the homies, but I think she oh. heard. Shout out Vic Stia, though. Yeah. So I was about to be there during their family drama. Uh. I'm glad it didn't happen. It would have been so awkward. Oh, yeah. I would have been like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was a lot of drama. Duno kind of caused the drama, though. What the fuck? You're too famous for it. I did it. Can, can we talk about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Are you, you say, you say, you say. Okay, so basically, 
It was uh, my neighbor's daughter's birthday party. His right? stepmom's daughter's birthday. Michi. Michi the Chichi. Yeah. So Her daughter's birthday. It was the daughter's birthday. So we're kicking it. We're listening. And we always have this, this grupo. Shout out uh, Los Demonios Brillantes. Uh-huh. They're always playing at, at all Fire. our family, family parties, right? And so we're hanging out. Duno, Duno calls me. He's hey, I'm in the area. I was like, bro, come through. Like, we're listening to the grupo, all this shit, right? So we're right there. We're hanging out. Then, you know, the... Uh, the grupo gets excited. They're like, oh, Duno's in the building. Right? So then they're playing. They're asking Duno what he wants to play, da-da-da. So they're playing for us. We're having a great time. We're drinking, da-da-da. And then everybody else starts to leave because it's already getting kind of later. And we're just planning on hanging out. And then I guess, like, the, the dad of the daughter of whose birthday it is starts to get upset because he felt like they were only playing for us and only, oh, like, catering towards but us. But you got it. Right. I think I think they matched. It. Well, one, oh, okay. well, one, we're in Michi's and Chichi's house. Yeah. yeah. So I walk in and she's like, and she's like, me home, like, yeah. c- like her daughter's a fan of me. Yeah. So I go over there, take a picture. Her friends are there, but mm-hmm. I didn't know what it was. Vic was like, it's a family party. Yeah. So I'm assuming this Vic's dad's throwing a bender party. Yeah. So I just pull up and I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a, it's like an actual birthday party, but the you can literally climb. It's like this is. But a they fence. had just split. The parents just split. This is the first. no. No, the, no, they split that's like separate, years that's ago. Like a that's, like, thing. that's like from way before. Oh. The, the daughter's 14. So oh, okay. to put in perspective, like, and then And I get there, Michi, for, I don't know, what's your real name? Oh, should we not say your real name? No. Just no, Michi, no, no, okay, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's like, mijo, like, like, you know, she's always cool yeah. whenever we see her. She's Super like, nice, yeah. showing love. And she's like, mijo, you want to eat? Like, here's a bar right here. Get whatever you want. But we have our bottles. We're like, here, you want a bottle? Like, give it out yeah. to your family. So she's cool. But I'm guessing... Vic's, Vic's uncle and the dad had matched it for the next like two hours or whatever. I don't know exactly how much it was. But you know, they're like, no, nah, come have fun. But the singer is like my age, so he knows who I am. He's like, but he's like when he's like one of them foods, like oh. <laughs> he's like, you know, we come from the bottom. He just kept saying he that. Just, he's like, you know, we all come from the bottom, right? He just kept throwing, like screaming that. <laughs> but I'm guessing like, like it it, it kind of felt kind of like hater vibes, like older hater man vibes. hater vibes, where yeah. it was like I didn't come to like I just came to kick it with the homie yeah. and and the, the the girl's birthday she like I think she was burned out like she's a high like I'm a fan yeah. we took a picture and she's like I think I'm gonna go inside her and her friends walked in and at this point it's just adults we're just we're just drinking fucking Vic's niece is there and we're just everybody's kicking it and Alfred just kept coming over like what song you want we start getting drunk and then they start getting into it as a family <laughs> and I was yeah. like. And I was like, Vic, maybe we should climb the wall and just go to your dad's house. Yeah. And that's yeah. exactly what we did. So that's we, smart. We went, we we took the, the grupo to, to my dad's house right next door. They set up or whatever. And then the dude who is it was his daughter's birthday, he asked the grupo for their for his money back. Which is like weird because uh, it's like their kids hustling out here. Yeah. yeah. So like, like, they don't have nothing to do with you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like your drama. Yeah, like it, but it was it just felt very haterish. Like so I got pretty upset because it's like, bro, like we're just having a good time. How are you gonna ask the little homies for the for money back? Yeah. They, they played. It's not like they weren't playing, you know. And then I mean? and then I told Vic I was like, I'm at you for I'll put the other hour. Like let them fool know. Like yeah. And then it was just better. Vic's like, ah, let's just avoid this the bullshit. And I was like, let's just go. And then we got lit. And then, see, Fredo was already asleep. Yeah. Asked me if he woke up. Did he wake up? He fool woke up. Started bedroom with us. <laughs> oh yeah, when he woke up at like one in the morning. <laughs> he saw my sister. He's like, cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and then Cookie was like, hey! And everybody was just, we just started drinking and shit. Damn, that's crazy. And yeah. then he threw up on his carpet. And then he threw, threw up on Apple's carpet. Poor yeah, Seyfriel, he had to clean that up. He wasn't even mad. I was so, I was so like, what? How are you Almost not mad? Almost weird. Almost like, yeah. hey, hold on. I'm expecting you to be Dad's angry. been mad at me my whole life. And all of a sudden, he's just like, it's okay, Miko. Were you ever mean to somebody and you thought about it like a couple years later? Was I ever mean to anybody? No. But there was a girl that her name was Porn Tip and everybody made fun of her. Why was that her name? Porn tip? She's she's like Vietnamese or something. It was like a oh. yeah, and her name was Porn Tip, but her name was Patty. But everybody like clearly that name to kids is gonna be very funny. Porn ah. tip is crazy. Yeah. Dang, wow. What's the porn tip? Mm-hmm. Would you call her that? Well, I'm not gonna incriminate myself. Shut up, porn tip. Shut up, porn tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember the girl that made fun of you, and then she was your bottle service girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking bitch. Stupid bitch. <laughs> Dumbass whore. Yeah. Whore. Go Stupid bitch. Go get some bitch. jello shots now. Yeah, go get some jello shots now, dumbass yeah. bitch. You guys probably see her be like, damn, come over here, girl. This for you, bitch. Yeah. You're I would only get with her in spite, like to get back, like uh, to break her this heart. This for lucky. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you twerk on her. 
<laughs> Whoa, what the, we're saying this is for Letty, he's crazy. No, I didn't say that. Whoa. No, that's I didn't say that. Wild, I didn't fuck. give for the homegirl. Wow. That is weird, <laughs> <weird, yo. laughs> Fucking for the homegirl's crazy. <laughs> but cool. <laughs> hey, 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 after the, hey, after the night, what do you do? I have a podcast with this girl named Letty. Uh, yeah, you know her. Yeah. Do you know her? Yeah. <laughs> you oh, you're from Glen? Oh, you know her. <laughs> and then you just walk out? Wow. Unless she's at your house, then you kick her out. <laughs> All right. Well, you want to take that shot? Yeah, for porn tip. For porn tip. (laughs) What's your name? Porn tip and poofy tacos. Go ahead. Porn tip, poofy tacos, and my future wife, Vic's cousin. (laughs) 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 All right. Do you have any closing items? Any shout outs? Yeah, I have some shout outs. Okay. Um, We got a DM from Amber. Mm -hmm. Um, She says she recently lost her primo, Joshua Diaz, in a car accident. Oh, man. But that they were huge Brownback fans and would meet up weekly to smoke a blunt and watch Brownback together. Shout out for real? Yeah. Damn. So, um, you know, RIP to Joshua Diaz. Fuck. Damn, that's fucked up. Much love. Damn, that's so sad. How old is he? Can we, do we know? Uh, No, she didn't really say Is there any, like, GoFundMe we can? Read her message. It says, hi, my name is Amber. I recently lost my primo, Joshua Diaz of Selma, California. On August 14th, due to a car accident. He was more like a brother to me. Him and I were Brownback fans. We would sit and watch the pod weekly, smoking the blunt. I just wanted to ask if the pod would show some love to him. We plan on getting tickets to your next live show. This is so surreal and my heart is completely broken. Thank you for being our source of entertainment and thank you for always making us laugh. Love you all. Yeah. No, we got to get our tickets. Yeah, man. Got her. Shout out her and her family, Yeah, man. and that was yeah. big. That was beautiful. And if, if there's like a GoFundMe or something, we should... Definitely. For sure. Yeah. I also got some other shout outs okay, from uh, the Carol G Show. Uh, shout out Amy, Ariana, Bridget, and Hector. They all are huge uh, Brownback fans. And oh, that's so I awesome. Said that they were in a group? I think I no, I was actually in line to get a beer. And then. How long were you waiting? Like 20 minutes. And Bridget, the she went to. Uh, sorry, she's going out with this dude I went to high school with. And then uh, she's like, Are you Maximo? And then the girl in the front heard her, turned around, was like, What the hell? And then this girl walking by all at the same time. Yeah, so Maxi. Yeah. Like, Were right. you by yourself or with Daniela? No, I was with my, my homie Matias. Uh, okay, yeah. I just I wrote your guys' names down as from the Carol G concert. Shout out to Gabby and Brenda. Big up to Gabby and Brenda. And one thing that we didn't talk about the Carol G concert is Morgan Freeman does like a whole little narration. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, she yes. got like I guess there's a story for like Mañana será bonito mm-hmm. and she's a sirena, she's like a she's a mermaid. Yeah. But it's Morgan Freeman Kind of telling her story. Narrating. Oh, Super cool. That's fire. So fire. Yeah. And he's Manana Sura Bonito. The voice of God. Yeah. So that that's was fire. really cool. So shout out to Morgan Freeman. Also, um, shout out Saul Alvarez. Really cool dude. Met him. When was it? Saul Alvarez? Yeah. Was it Canelo? Yeah. Canelo. 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 Yeah. Oh. I met him on Wednesday. I was about to say, that sounds very familiar. Yeah. yeah. It's some Damn. guy. Super cool dude. Run up the, run up the clips. Yeah. And also, should I say his name? Our op? Fox Sports? Uh, I will not say his name. You uh, just said it. I, I just said the company. I didn't say his name. <laughs> it was a dude that was trying to, like, he works for one of the Spanish news stations. So that's the fool that did the weird title the other time? No, no, no. That's like a random, like, blogger. Oh, okay. But okay. this is like an actual sports network in Spanish, right? So a lot of the media, the sports media, especially like the, the Latino media, just in general, yeah. boxing. Because I told you, I have to prove myself. Mm. And I don't mind. But... We have we also have connections and we were able to get one on ones with Canelo and we we're able to get good spots on the carpet. However, people get there early to get those spots. And so they were really upset that the fa- like the family friends of Canelo put us in the carpet. Like right we're like, hey, can you move so she could be right here? Mm. And so they were like pretending they didn't even hear. Like so on the carpet, like I was supposed to be in like in between these two people and neither of them like both of them were facing so they couldn't whatever like they didn't hear us. And so we're like, excuse us. We got to be like, it was just too extra. Like they didn't move. Right. And I was like, fuck it. I've been around red carpets for the past 10 years. I used to do entertainment reporting for Big Boy's Neighborhood. So I knew red carpets, all that. That shit can get crazy. It could be a Super long crazy. wait. Last two minutes. Everybody has to like ask questions together. So I know like the dog eat dog environment. So they're like, hey, Canelo's coming down the carpet. But you last four or five. You guys have to ask questions together. So normally everybody puts their microphone. And then probably they, they're they like, you can only ask two questions. So that means two for every 10 people has to ask a question, right? Mm. I'm like, fuck that. I'm getting my questions. Because I didn't mm-hmm. know if I was able to talk to him again. After? 
Yeah, so for the one on one. Okay. So in the red car, it was the red carpet first. So I'm um, so they're like they're, he's passing through, and I knew to, to ask about his godson. I know no one's gonna ask him about that. They're gonna ask him about Charlo. They're gonna ask him about uh, any boxing shit, whatever. And I'm like, do I hallow Johan? And he looks straight at me. And I'm like, and then I knew I had his attention from there. And so I asked him about Johan, who's an upcoming boxer, if he's going to take his place similar to like how you look at someone like Chavez Jr. And there's a lot of juniors in boxing. So yeah. Chavez Jr., Mayweather Jr., there's yeah. so many Vargas and his sons, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm like, do you think he's going to carry on your name? And he answered me straight. So since he was already looking at me, answering me. That was like your real in? Yeah. That was your real in? Yeah. Yep. I'm Question. Like, I'm going to ask him another one. Yeah. And I'm like, you like musica romantica? Boom, right on me. But everybody else is like this fucking bitch first she doesn't come early second and it's not my bad i didn't come early. i didn't know where i was we were there right. we just didn't we weren't we didn't know where we were gonna be placed yeah um and then i asked about mike like not michael jackson like the music he likes listen to in english he answers me and then they're like all right that's enough so these motherfuckers are like fuck her but at the same time if it's not me asking the questions it would be you guys asking the questions yeah. and i would have to try to figure out how to play back some random shit that you guys ask too, yeah. right? So that happens. And then they're like, hey, the people from Showtime, they're like, Letty, we got you a one on one with him. Like, let's move you in here. And the same dude that was pretending not to hear me was in that same thing. And so he comes up to us, like, hey, we're already set up. Why are you here? And then we're like, they sent us here. He's like, who sent you here? Yep. And I'm like, Showtime, um, Canelo's assistant. Um, like, like I'm like, who didn't send us here, essentially? Like, yeah. Swanson PR. Like, that's like the PR group for everything. I'm like, and he's like, oh, I'm going to go see. I'm going to go check and make sure. It's just like yeah, some caring bro. ass fool yeah. that was like, Petty no, you don't belong here. We're already set up. Why are you here? And it's like, they put us here. Like, sorry, bro. Like, we're not, hey, let's take this fool's place. So he was so upset. Uh, that I, we were even getting that type of emotion. And it's like, oh, you don't have to be a hater like that. Whatever boy? we do, no, Mexican fool. Whatever we do is not going to do shit for you. Like, we're all getting time with Canelo. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's just some hater shit that you start seeing. And then the guy, I'm like, you guys, this is kind of the stuff you got to build yourself on. There's like three girls, right? Yeah. There's like, and most of the girls there are like being like, y ahora estamos aquí, and, da, 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 and like very bomb, very mm -hmm. great girls. But at the same time, like, I don't know, they just, they're more reporter more versus, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And so the guys were, they're just really upset. But I'm like, fuck it. If yeah. I only have two questions with Canelo, I'm going to ask those two questions. Yeah. If I only have 10 seconds, I'm going to take those 10 seconds. Right. And I'm going to fight for it. And if you get mad, you can get mad. Yeah. But I understand what this moment means. Yep. So it was just yeah. some weird, it was weird shit, but I I know from doing that, like with Hollywood and with hip hop reporting, you got to. Yeah. If you're not a dog, they literally will, they expect you, bow down. They expect mm -hmm. you, all right, we're the big stations, sit down, bitch. And it's like, no, dog, I'm a big dog too. What's up? That's right. Yep. And Let's then go. and then I'm like, hey, and I'm like, hey, take, I'm like, hey, take that fool's picture. So we got his picture. <laughs> <laughs> like, and we're like, let's let's get our ops in order. Also, I want to shout out uh, Fuego and JP Murrows. Yeah. Uh, Fuego helped yeah. build the frame around for this canvas. Hell yeah. And JP Murrows, you know, did the... That part an accent, no shit. He knows how yeah. to do shit on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it was funny. Um, there was this English... There was this English uh, dude. He was from London at the Canelo thing. And he... Was uh, it in Beverly Hills, too? Yeah, it was in Beverly Hills. Oh. He, it was at the Hilton, the Beverly Hills Hilton. Um, but the guy is from England and he also boxes but he does like reporting I don't know mm -hmm. he was there and we just struck a conversation because we they, they give you food there after and then we talked to that fool and we, he was just talking to all of us but it's funny because he started asking me questions and he's like what's your name Letty oh what a nice name and then Le I'm like yeah and then I'm, and he's like what's your last name and I'm like Beniche he's like ooh that's like a dessert and <laughs> then him and Maxim and Norby like hey 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 Hey, chill, 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 chill. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. And he's like, I didn't mean, I thought they were your coworkers. I didn't know they were your boy. Like, he's like, it's like, no, bro, you just don't say shit like that. Like, yeah. ooh, that last name sounds like a dessert. And I think it's like, because he has an accent. Yeah. Like, it's very disarming. I get like, if a saying. guy has an accent or a yeah. girl has an accent, automatically you're like, ooh. I get what you're saying. If he was like a fool that was outside of like a burger, yeah, he was like, like mm, that sounds, sounds like, like a dessert. dessert. <laughs> yeah, we're like, whoa. He's like, it sounds like a dessert. When you guys said hi, did he kiss you on the cheek? No, let a. But, let a. And why do let teens kick, kick like uh, the um, like hiccups? English people's ass? Like, but the what up? You know what I'm saying? Like, why does it? Why, like, let it. Let, let it. Why does it's it kind of like Latinos ass? with the R? Oh, how? Yeah. No, what's what's? Or oh, like like how SZA kicks Angie's ass? SZA. 
the S and the Z's. <laughs> no, but it was funny that they stood up for me. Pizza. Yeah. So you, so they're like chill, 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 chill. Against the Fox Sports flu. No, this was like just some you know, London, Those London are two bodyguards. Yeah. Norby and and I, like it was cool. Yeah. Like you guys don't understand. Sometimes with girls, we don't kind of we we don't feel like we can kind of stand up for ourselves in those moments. But it's like, dog, you wouldn't tell a guy his last name sounds like... Like, if you met my husband, yeah. whose last name is Panicha, you wouldn't say that sounds like a dessert. Sounds like a dessert, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Top tip, all right. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's a trip. That food, that food, the, the Fox Sports food, you didn't press that food, Maximo? Nah, I think bitch. we were more like... Shut up, Fox Sports, but not shut up that food. Yeah, I think we were more like... Let like, the, go, go tell him. Like, yeah. I think he was expecting one to scare Running us. He probably thought out. we were like trying to like wiggle our way in. Yeah. And he was also probably expecting for whoever his connections are with to kick us out. And so when that was happening, I hit up the Showtime guy or we hit up our Showtime guy who's a, in charge of like all the PR. And we're like, hey, this was trying to get us kicked out. He's like, tell him from me personally and from Showtime, you guys are there. Right. Like the end. It was like, yeah. I don't give, like whatever they fucking say, you're going to have time. Yeah. And it was really cool to have that kind of backup. So you're trying to punk us, but you can't. And did yeah. he tell him that? Well, like, what did he show him, like the no, text? I think he told him that, and they kind of told him, like, no, they could stay. And so he didn't even come back to of that course, area. Yeah. It was fucking, embarrassing. Fucking, fucking lame. Yeah, fucking, fucking loser. All that steel ass fool. Right. But just, it's just I, being nice. There's, yeah. It's <laughs> unnecessary to do that shit. It's literally unnecessary to try to. And, I, and what I was telling him is, like, like, and Max Vic, we know hip hop media. So if there's mm -hmm. someone that we don't know, it's like everyone knows that that's a new person. Exactly. So it's like they knew we were like a new little crew in that. It's for the thousand yeah. followers. My mom got more followers than this. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lame. But he was really like, y y todo está listo aquí por whatever. Yeah. Fuck, y con quién están an hablando? And Fuck. it's like, dude, we were fine. Fuck, Believe you me, the stuff yeah, you ask Canelo is not going to uh, be the same suit. shit we're going to ask Canelo. Hey, yeah. fool, that fool got some baddie daughters. We're going to have to crack it, Vic. I'm oh, down. Oh, gosh. Uh, one of them has a boyfriend. <laughs> hey, let me see. You can still play soccer with a goalie. What? Still play soccer with a goalie. I with don't a get dick. it. What does that mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just because someone's guarding the net doesn't mean you can't score. Still play soccer with a goalie. That's hard. I never heard that one before. Whoa. That's a good one right there. Standing ovation for this. Let's go. <laughs> Epi no, no, no. Episode. Wait, wait, wait. Have one more shout out. One more shout out. Shout out to. Oh, look at you. You never get these, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Real quick, uh, shout out to Brian and everybody at Mariscos Don Mochis. Uh, they showed mad love to me. I went twice in a weekend because... The cruda? Yes. Mm. One for the cruda, one before I even knew I was going to be crudo. Mm -hmm. uh, but they showed a lot of love. They're super dope. Uh, they said they want to come uh, cater the podcast, too. So. Well, they have oh, yeah. super fire. Back to your ovation, though. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. We're done. Okay, so I guess that's, that's it. Uh, bye. Episode, Episode 104. <laughs> what the fuck? My smoke just got up and left. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs>